Shantanu Pandey. I am Legal Internet Lectures and Company. Karthi, start. The right to die in India is jurisprudence is a complex and evolving topic. In India, the issue of right to die primarily evolved around the concept of euthanasia or physical assistance society. Euthanasia refers to the intentionally terminated of a life, personal life, the usually at their request. In order to relieve their suffering from a terminal illness and irreversible conditions. As of my knowledge, cut off in September 2021 in the Supreme Court of India has recognized the right to die with dignity as a fundamental right under the right to life guaranteed by Article 21 of the Indian Constitution. The recognition came in the landmark judgment of the Supreme Court in the case of Common Cause vs. Union of India, also known as Passive Euthanasia case. In this judgment, the Supreme Court held that the indi- individuals have the right to refusal medical treatment or to request the withdrawal of life-sustaining treatment if they are suffering from a terminal illness or a permanent vegetative state. The court laid down a certain guidelines and safeguard to ensure that the de- decision-making process is transparent, reasonable and does, does not lead to misuse. However, it is important to note that active euthanasia where a person's life is intentionally ended by the administrating lethal substance, it is still illegal in India. The court only recognized the right to refuse, terminate or withdraw the support under certain circumstances. It is also worth mentioning that the issue of euthanasia remains a matter of public debate and has not been extensively legislated upon the Indian parliament. There have been a calls for com- comprehensive legislation to address the nuisance and complexity of euthanasia, but no specific law has been enacted at the national level of my knowledge out.